Hi friends, welcome back. As you can see, I have a haul for you. It's a grocery haul. We picked it up tonight and man, it was raining outside. I was totally soaked. I had to change before I showed you all. The groceries are from Giant Tiger as well as Walmart. We needed almost everything. We are having our own Thanksgiving here on Friday. Jessica and Sam are coming after work. It's going to be a late evening, but they have plans for the next day. So I'm getting some things so I can make, you know, a nice ham dinner with some pies and um, some dressing and, you know, stuff like that. So I needed to get a, get a few things. Today is Tuesday, so I only have a few days to prepare as well as clean this house it, it needs it. It's quite a mess. Tomorrow we're having our heat pumps installed, which I'm really excited about. I was like, yay, finally. It'd be so nice to have those both installed. So yeah, I'm just gonna turn you around and show you what I got. And if I can remember where they're from, I'll let you know, but I'm probably just gonna lay them all out and just show you what we bought. So I'm just gonna turn you around and let's get into it. So basically these are the things that we got from Walmart. Uh, these are two cooler bags full of stuff. And we forgot to bring our own bags, so this is all we had left in the car, so that's what we had to use. Um, so I'm just gonna go through it. And I also have this little haul for you as well. There's a couple things in there. There's one thing I cannot show you because it's gonna be a gift from someone. So I'm just going to start unpacking everything and we'll get right to it. All right, I'm going to start over here and this is everything that we got from Giant Tiger. Picked up a couple of boxes of Tender Flake pie pastry. They're, they're really good and it's a time saver and that's what I need for this week because you know, we have the heat pump coming tomorrow, two of them, two heat pumps being installed tomorrow. And we're gonna pick up our part of our sofa tomorrow or next day. I guess on Thursday we'll pick that up. It, yeah, we've just been busy. <laughs> so this is, this is for the Thanksgiving that we're having on Friday. For one of the pies, I picked up this cherry pie filling. And the other two pies that we're going to make, or I should say I'm going to make, are pumpkin as requested by Fred. He really loves pumpkin pie, as we all do. Um, so I'm going to have one cherry pie and two pumpkin at least. Also got Fred some blend cream. That's for his coffee. And we got some concentrated um, chicken broth. That's going to be for the dressing that I'm going to make. We also got some oranges because we did not have any fruit in the house. We didn't have any grapes, any oranges, anything like that to go with our breakfast. So we've just been having like, I've been having turkey bacon and a couple of eggs. And I had a piece of toast with a little bit of butter and jam on it the other day with a coffee and that was it. So I was really missing the fruit. So I'm so happy. I got some oranges <laughs> and I got two bags of carrots also for the supper and afterwards at some point next week I'll be making a beef stew so if there's anything left for that that's what I'll be using but I like having like well everyone requests it like uh, I make carrots and then I have a rutabaga and cut that up boil them and then mash them together with a little bit of butter that's what everyone has requested so that's what we do and next, I need some eggs, which I'm gonna be needing for, you know, my pumpkin pies. So I just got like a, a carton of 18 eggs that should do us for a little while. We go through a lot of eggs here. As you can imagine, I was eating it every day for breakfast. And I also got some Black Diamond Marble Cheese. And eventually that we're gonna have some tacos one night too, and that's gonna go for that. So I had my meals a little bit more planned ahead and what we want, but right now just concentrating on our 
meal that we're having for Thanksgiving on Friday. So this is everything so far that I got from Giant Tiger and these were all on sale. And I always like to go there first, get the things that are cheaper and then head on over to, my, to Walmart or Superstore, in this case Walmart, and pick up the rest of the things we need. So I'm gonna take you over and show you what we got from Walmart. So it was raining quite fiercely when we left there. So there's like water still over everything you can see. Good thing the cereal is protected by a bag, but I got some mini wheats. That's what I have occasionally for a snack and sometimes occasionally for breakfast. I've got some milk. And we like the Scott Spring 1%. Got another thing of blend cream for Fred. He wasn't sure if the prices at Giant Tiger or Walmart were cheaper, so he decided to get one from each place. Also for the pies, he loves this on his pumpkin pie. So he got some whipped topping. It's just great value. I think that's his favorite. Also got him his favorite coffee and that's Nescafe Intense, and it's really nice, really strong coffee. I like it too. I've been having coffee a lot more recently. And this is the lazy person to me. I got some gravy, some mushroom gravy for our meal. So yeah, that's what I do. I can't make gravy. I've tried and I don't like the way it tastes. So I buy canned gravy and you know, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> Full disclosure. Next, got some butter. It was on sale, I think, for $4.97. Still a crazy price to me, but I'll be using it a lot for baking and everything, so I need to get some extra butter. And I've got some French vanilla ice cream by Briars. You know, not everyone likes whipped topping on their pie. Some people like ice cream, and everyone seems to love French vanilla, so we got some of that. And of course, we go all out here when we have pie. We got some sprinkles. These are mermaid sprinkles, I think they're called. We had them before and they did not last long. Um, they're so pretty, so really pretty. And they taste good too. And it makes the pie look really, really nice. Next, this is also for my stuffing and I still have some, but I want to get a nice big fresh one of uh, summer savory. We use this in so much food, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> it's a staple in our house. So over here next, I've got some sour bread dough. One day I will definitely attempt to make my own, but not yet, <laughs> not yet. And I just got um, a simple wonder bread. That is just for making sandwiches and toast or whatever for myself. I got some celery. This is also for the dressing that I'm going to be making. And here's a turn for rutabaga. And I got two of those, so it's gonna be plenty of vegetables. And I think I also have some frozen vegetables, like a mixed variety of California mix or something like that in the freezer out in the garage so there'll be different choices of vegetables as well and I got some garlic Laura loves using garlic and I'll be using that when I make a stew probably next week okay over here I got some grapes these are not the best of in and they're a little wet but I'll have to you know wash them and dry them really good so they don't moldy it looks like mold but it's just the the wetness of them that's how they look but no that's not mold I made sure it's just what's picking up on the camera and last thing over here from Walmart Fred goes through these a lot but you know they're good for him they're almonds just raw almonds nothing added you know he loves to snack on them and it's a 700 gram bag, which is a really good size. And he has been sharing them with me, like I'm having some at night as well. 
and it helps me sleep. I've been suffering with insomnia like crazy and that does seem to help a little bit. It must be the magnesium in it or something, I don't know, or potassium. I'm not even sure, but it seems to work. So this is everything from the grocery store right here from Giant Tiger and Walmart. And now I'll show you the couple of items that I picked up at Giant Tiger at an earlier date. Okay, here I am. I'm gonna show you now what I picked up at Canadian Tire. And these are a couple little items for my coffee tray, which I found, I found it. Um, it's sorely neglected, you know, I haven't bought too many things for it at all. I did get a few things before when I first got my coffee tray. Even before that, I got them from our little gingerbread house. You know, she sent me some things and I love them and I want to add more to it, especially for each season. This here, it's not exactly for fall, but it is for Christmas. <laughs> I'm a little ahead of myself. And get, I'll show you this one first. They had it all wrapped up really nice. And I've seen this in other videos. Like, I think it was Miranda from Plus Size in Canada. I think she had one. And I think our little gingerbread house had one. And maybe a few other videos. I can't quite remember where I first seen this. And I think I've seen it last year or the year before and I found one and I love it so much. <laughs> Isn't this perfect? This is going to go for my, on my coffee tray. I, I absolutely love it. You know, the gingerbread man, the candy cane, the stocking and the wreath. And it's a really good size and it was a really good price. So I think that's going to look perfect on my coffee tray and can I remember how much that was? I'm not sure. Let me see. Um, I think this was $5.99, which is a decent price to me because I really, really love it. It's so Christmassy. It could go on the tray, but this is definitely going on my coffee tray. And the next thing I got, and this one was, I think, a little bit more expensive. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm not giving you the wrong one. No, this one was actually cheaper, which is really funny. But this... It's a cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. Isn't that cute? It feels really sturdy and it's quite heavy. This would be really, really heavy for a tree. So I have an artificial tree now since last year. And though it looks sweet on it, I think it will look even sweeter on my coffee tray. And I love hot chocolate. It's so adorable. It would be so cute if it had like little sprinkles on there, colored sprinkles but I love it and like the drizzle of the chocolate is so sweet. I'm so happy. I did get one other thing, but that is going to be a gift. So I cannot show you that. And of course that one was a little bit more expensive, but well worth it. I absolutely love it. I love them both. So that's, that's going to be shown in an upcoming video, I think. Oh, so I hope you enjoy this little grocery haul. Um, I know it doesn't seem like much stuff, but we were out of all of the stuff. We really needed to get more. There's a kitty roaming around. So yeah, um, if, I don't know if you noticed, but this cabinet was moved way over because they're going to put one of the um, heat pumps, mini splits, right there. So eventually my desk will be gone in my office when I get that settled. And this will be going way over there. We have a lot more room for table and family, which 
I'm very, very excited about. There's still gonna be lots of room for a Christmas tree. I can't believe I'm talking about Christmas tree, but I've seen so much Christmas decorations today. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's not even Halloween yet, but there you go. Thank you for coming along and seeing what we bought for our groceries and a, little, a few little extras for ourselves. And until next video, remember, be kind to you, take care of you, and don't forget to fly. First love yourself. Bye for now.